because Don is supposed to be here, but I'll we'll just catch him up when he gets here. Um, okay, I think that is that going, Wayne. You're the expert here. Let's see here. Hello. I yes. see the second. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Yeah. It's really okay. yeah. All right. Today is Tuesday, August twenty first. It's six thirty, and this is the uh, committee meeting for the county offices committee. We have myself, Ashley Evans, Ben Heitzig, Mark Wagner, Wayne Shell, and we have a guest, Mike Weaver. Mike Weaver. Um, do you have any public comment? I just had a, a question. Uh, actually, uh, you guys are going to talk about buying out a piece of property for $600. Mm -hmm. I was just curious. I understand it's part of the floodplain thing, but considering Jerseyville wants to take like 1,500 acres and, uh, you know, annex it, and the county's going to lose some revenue because of that. Why wouldn't you allow it to stay on the tax rolls and let somebody, let the guy who bought it for taxes continue to pay the taxes on it? I didn't know if there was some sort of a reason that you would want to take it into the floodplain and get it out of the tax base or what? That was my question. Well, we'll talk about that more when we review okay. the actual agreement, but currently the taxes aren't being paid on it. Yeah, but the guy who bought it has to pay it. Well, they're currently not being paid. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of assess that. It's nothing we've approved at this time, so we'll okay. assess that as we're going through. So we can talk about that first because I think probably um, that may be the easier thing to talk about this evening. So the um, letter is from the tax agent and I can kind of read it to you guys you can read it yourself um, the code administrator's office sent this over to us to review but um, it says enclosed is a purchase contract to enable the county of Jersey to acquire the requested parcel purchase price is based upon the minimum cost of acquisition and conveyance through the county's tax liquidation program um, please return the signed contract if we agree upon it um, along with the check in the amount of $600 $600 payable to the Jersey County trustee payment account um, and that's the second um, page is the purchase contract and you have a copy of that Mike um, this is really just what they're proposing um, yeah like we have just sort of talked about this property is in the floodplain currently but the um, up for sale um, the taxes weren't being paid on it so they're proposing that the county buys the property for six hundred dollars so it's basically our um, duty to determine whether or not we think that is um, viable or not if we you know if we need to go back um, to the code administrator's office I think usually they bring these to the board meetings and um, present them and we sort of vote on them there um, but I think this is something that uh, Don's wanting this committee to assess going forward. I was a little curious about <clears throat> why this particular case was uh, had, you know became important because um, there was a procedure because there there's usually I unless, unless I miss my guess there's there's quite a few uh, delinquent tax pieces yes, yes. Uh, and there was a there was a, um, a mechanism or a, a typical way of dealing with that in which the county uh, had a process right. and, and for some reason for this I don't think we had committee meetings to make a ruling on individual cases so we did not so and in this particular case there must be some reason why uh, this one is being brought before but you don't know what that is no, um, Don brought this to my attention, and then Derek from the code administrator's office sent over the purchase agreement to uh -huh. me. But it was never um, there was never anything presented to me, basically saying there was any type of special stipulation with this particular yeah. um, agreement. I um, am more than happy to follow up with Derek and see if there's yeah. a reason why we, we have should. to review because in. I mean, we've seen a lot of these come through yes. the 
meetings right and we yeah, yeah we um, agree yeah. upon them at that point in time no yeah. uh, particular committee was meeting on them so I don't right. know if it's just a change in process or if uh, I think I might know is this one of them properties in Spanky that could be yes it's Spanky is it one that it's had, right along the is it one of them that has the cabin on it that they're gonna they're supposed to be demolishing I don't know if it's one of them we probably got to go through the committee I'm just getting yeah, Snowballing her. I mean, I Why don't know. Why wouldn't you let the person who owns it right now demolish it? <laughs> well, see, we they probably got, want to get rid of all of them. I would imagine. Well, see, they got a grant yeah. to demolish. There's supposed to be three of them down there. I think they're going to be demolishing, but there was a hold up on a couple of them now, or something on account. I think this deal here. Yeah, I looked it up on Google Maps. Hey, and it's just I have to, does I have it have to ask a cabin you on it? Sure. I have to make a comment here. Yes. Uh, Mike is not supposed to uh, act as a member of the committee. He okay. is so you can no, you can you can observe, and your your comments can be made. But uh, uh, no, I'm just, okay. So uh, okay. you know we've been we've been uh, instructed to to limit your comments to a period before and after. You can ask questions as you wish. We don't even necessarily have to answer the questions if we don't know the answer. No, I understand. So uh, anyway, we're just trying to keep the protocol there. Yeah. Okay. I'm not so, I mean, okay. Thank you. Ryan. As we as we're talking about that, that could be why this is becoming no. in front of the board or right the committee it might be one with the cabin on it yeah because no, we don't yeah. have to act on this until we know that until we know i mean we we don't have to make an make an action no no I mean, you uh, said this had been done before are we then well so like usually case, are we turn usually, it over to the nutwood levy district no usually no. you'll get to your big board meeting and there'll be one of these in your packet and okay. you know, we usually we don't just assess vote them on it. individually like this. Okay. Pam will just say, We got this, it's gonna be such and such and yeah. it's going back on the tax rolls or something or see that's another thing. Them are usually going back on the tax roll and somebody's buying and these here yeah. this one here's the county's actually buying. And ordinarily what this committee if we were to come to a conclusion where we want to make a recommendation that the full board would have to approve it anyway, so it's going to be discussed right. at that meeting. Yep. So. Um, okay, so it's, my understanding is there's no special stipulation with this. I think this this is actually the first time this committee has ever met since mm. I've been in second. office. Is second, it the second? Uh, you missed the first meeting. <laughs> yeah. At the end of 2016, I know mm. Don was wanting kind of this committee to take more of an active okay. role. So I don't know if that was okay. his plan was to put these to our attention. Okay. Um, but I can follow up with Derek um, okay. in the code administrator's office and see, um, you know, if they were just directed to give this to us or if there's some something, yes, you know, I mean, underlying. You might want to ask if it's one with a cabin on it. Mm. Got that. And you said that. And that might complicate See, we had a public safety meeting and they're going to demolish six properties, six buildings in the county they got a grant to do it with and uh, that could there's three of them down there okay on spanky on the McCoupin Creek bottom there yeah and that could be the reasoning it could have that and the guy has to right yeah well we it, until we know that we we'd be I think you'll advise to make take action, really. Okay. So, um, so something we'd probably have to table for yeah. now. Yes. Yep. So, um, so we yeah. need a motion in the form of that. Yeah, you can yeah. We'll make a motion that we table this until we have further instructions on it. Okay. I second. Okay. Um, ben made a motion to table the tax um, purchase agreement. For now and Wayne seconded it so I'll follow up with Derek and um, just to get some more information around um, whether it's one of the uh, pieces of property with a cabin on it did you say the county um, was given is the county demolishing those cabins? Well, they, we had they, a, they were given we, a grant. we did a bid we took bids on it and we got it's a uh, Paul Hayes with precision oh, excavating okay. that's okay. going to demolish the okay. six buildings. There's six buildings. There's six of them total throughout the county. Yeah, there's oh, three so down. There's three down there. Not on this one property. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's it. If yeah. that's why we are having to meet on it or okay. not. There's three down there, and then there's 
two in Dow, and one right here on 109, yeah. right here south of town, right before you get to Crystal Lake Road. Okay. The other possibility is maybe they just wanted us to to look at the language of the agreement since mm -hmm. it's probably going to be similar whenever this situation occurs and yeah. make sure that the language is clear and that everybody is, um, uh, you know, that we don't have any questions or feel anything should be added to clarify what's... Yeah, yeah, my initial um, reaction was really, I mean, it's in the floodplain, so they're probably thinking yeah. no one's going to purchase this particular um, piece of property, and so therefore we would like to purchase it. Um, I uh, did read through... I do through... know that they, they purchased other down there. Yep, yep. Um, but I did read through the purchase contract, and so... So um, this, this property would become property of the county then? Yeah. Yes, okay. yep. Um, but I will, just so we're certain, I'll follow up with yeah. uh, the code administrator's office, and then um, we have plenty of time before the next meeting we can meet again. Um, Okay. And we can make a decision okay. because we, like you said, we'll have to submit it to the full board for actual approval, whatever we yeah, recommend. Um, so, recommend. so um, okay. And then the second item, and that's sorry, Ben, that's part of it. We didn't want uh, enough copies printed off. So the second item that we're meeting about is um, there's a and flip to the the second set of paper. Oh, or do you yes. have it? There this, was a, oh no, you guys don't have this. Um, did I give Did I give you the your verb? Sorry, the verb mm -hmm. Yeah, I sent this to Kelly. Um, d this was something that Don um, was letting him look at it. This was something that Don handed to me at the last meeting, and I scanned it in and sent it to Kelly. But it doesn't look like she printed it off, so I'll pass it around. But basically, uh, he brought this up at the last meeting. It's from um, Linda Davidson, who is. Yeah part-time right. uh, contractor kind of does like some IT support for um, the county and so uh, it's been determined that our website is not compliant with the um, Americans with Disabilities Act really yes <laughs> a website yeah yeah um, so uh, per that we are needing to make some changes to our website and um, Linda has put this together, and the proposal is essentially for the riverbender.com to um, to do those particular changes for us. And um, there's a kind of a, a fee uh, summary in this document. And the reason why um, Linda's part time, and that's why I think there the list of responsibilities was provided because. She does some functions for the county, but she is part time. And then when I I did talk to Pam last week because Pam wanted to make it known that she doesn't, um, you know, everything that she's doing takes up a lot of her time, and she's not even doing that for all of the uh, county offices. She doesn't mm -hmm. have the capacity to do that. And mm -hmm. this will be, um, you know, a big endeavor Beyond to take <laughs> on um, implementing the exact changes to the yeah. website. So. The Riverbender, um, and I'll, I will, like I said, I'll pass this around, but they actually um, launched our website for us initially. Um, um, so the Jersey County government's website. And so that's basically why we're looking to them to sort of help us with these particular changes. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, just kind of a services. What size of the bid kind of are they? Is there a figure on there? Yes, there is. Um, they have... Um, and this looks like it's just estimates, um, $3,700 mm -hmm. to do it. Um, and then a monthly fee of $30. Um, I don't know exactly how long that, um, you know, the $30 will end after a certain time period. Um, and then that includes, they have like a, um, like a tech support is included with that um, and some training and different things like that so I don't it doesn't really state um, in here what the actual violations are for with the ADA mm -hmm. um, but this was something that uh, Don and Pam alluded to at the last meeting so they're really wanting us to look at that yeah. um, it did say though that the $3,700 is an estimate but any 
if we agreed to this, if the price were going to change, we'd have to agree to that as well. It wouldn't be like, oh, you signed this, so now you're locked in, and hey, guess what? It's it's five thousand dollars now. Right, right. Thirty-seven hundred um, a month a year. No, that's well, a flat fee. Time. Flat one time fee. Thirty dollars a month after that. Yeah, like a thirty-dollar um, sort of a maintenance fee, um, which. Thirty-seven hundred dollars to me. Well, here's um, what you'd be getting here: newly designed, web mm -hmm. built, ADA compliant, web hosting, management, and a half hour per month of professional services. So they come, look at they'd come and look at it every for month goodness. for a half hour. So that's probably what your thirty dollars would be. Maybe yep. do it for their from their own location, really. But yeah, I mean, the thing to keep in mind is if we are out of compliance with the ADA, that could result in Expense. big fines yeah. um, and different repercussions. Um, and like I said, they, I think they're just being looked at as doing it because they initially put the website together for us. Right. And there, really is a, there is a figure uh, above which we have to get you know, I think it's multiple 5, bids, but it may not be that. Yeah. I think it's $5,000. 5000 for mm -hmm. multiple bids. Yeah. yeah. Pricing. But um, I know um, $3,700, I feel like, seems reasonable. Um, I know my husband has had websites created for his business and when he was running for office, and um, that oh. is really an, a good sound. So it's not, it doesn't strike you as being hard No. Um, yeah. And like... Uh, and this is a list of... This is really Linda's uh, responsibilities. She's the part-time IT support, and I think mm -hmm. this is really, um, just to illustrate really what she does, but then I think it shows she does do a lot. <laughs> yeah. Man. And to to make those particular changes, it would be a lot more on her plate. And this is this recommendation is um, she's been dealing with com, so it's not like yeah. she's blindsided. She's uh, worked on the proposal... Um, What's the name of the company that does our? Um, oh, it's DevNet. That's what it DevNet is. Does our, I'd want to know how much uh, we're going to pay if we go over a half an hour, which is more than likely. <laughs> a half yeah. an hour is not well, very much. No, yeah. yeah. No. What's that for? It, uh, we get a half an hour monthly. Yeah, to as far as for them to look at something that's going to cost thirty dollars. What happens? Imagine it's thirty dollars. Probably sixty dollars an hour. I, yeah, I would say it's probably they're they're probably. My guess is they're estimating they can look at the website, check for certain yes. items, and make sure and that they could probably do that mean, in a half hour. Yeah. I would think it. And they wouldn't have but, to come But here. if we have problems and we yeah. run over, yeah, that's what I want to know. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd want to. I'd want it spelled out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, don't assume it's going to be a ha you know, right. Like $30 exactly. An hour. And there is language. Um, I think it's above sort of the fee breakout of. Basically, any um, it isn't any kind of changes to the price. Like if we were to say tonight, which we can't, I think Don has to sign it. But if right. we were, oh yeah, we're in favor for this. If oh, they okay. decided to change anything with the price, then we would have to re-agree to it. I think this is really just an est a pretty good estimate at this time. Right. Um, so yeah, but no, I think that's a good uh, question to take back. Yeah, because it says non rollover, so if you don't use it one month, it's yeah, not, you can't. It's not going to roll over to the next month, so. And I, yeah, I'm. And it I says think, a half hour monthly tech support included. Yeah. Mm hmm And then this here is hosting monthly fee, but up here. Half hour non roller per month. Per month. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, you can run into some problems and yeah, it, it and maybe more, we could take get a lot longer. Would yeah. that half hour really define that a little better? Because you were saying, oh, they're probably going to come out and service it, but I was thinking it was more like, oh, we're available for that amount of time if you need help with something. I was thinking they would just look at the site from where yeah. they're at. Remote and in. Just, yeah, they yeah. probably yeah. Just remote in and yeah. They probably don't leave all. I mean, that's yeah. it's a riverbend is located in Alton. Isn't it? Right. Yeah. And yeah. They probably just remote in, go to the site. They don't need yeah. anything. Yeah. They might have ten minutes involved in it, and then the next time they might have the full thirty minutes. Right. Okay. As I, said, I think ordinarily, probably you don't know. 
How much time um, are you going to have to spend on a job? We would yeah. have to take this to the board for approval. Yeah. we yeah. got to vote here. To, yeah. 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 I make a motion we do. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have to we have to somehow be compliant. I second with it the, with the understanding that we need to find out if we go over a half an hour how much it's yep. going to cost. And I will, um, I'll touch base with Linda and I'll make sure that we have that information available at the meeting. So when we present it for approval, um, we can have that. So, um, so. Just, you can just call for a voice vote. Voice vote. Yeah, if you have a motion and a second, then you just have a vote. Oh, okay. So yeah. all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Wayne, for stuffing me. This is my first meeting as the chairman, <laughs> or, so I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. I've been doing yes. <laughs> yeah, every, virtually every motion requires a vote. But okay, yeah. perfect. And that was sec or motion uh, given by Ben and seconded by Mark. So. Yeah. Um, so that's really all we had. So the only real purpose of having this is just to, to see show that, what to Linda does. That, that really is. to show that's going to take some that's effort. That's going to be more than what she It'll be really a, a project, right. and They'll she already has in. a full plate for They'll somebody. They'll go in and design the whole web page all right. over again, more or less. What does yeah. GIS stand for, though? I understand what IT is, but what is it? Create aerial map. Is that for uh, global? Mm. What is GIS? Global Internet System? I don't know. <laughs> I really GI, don't. <laughs> uh, maintain and update the GIS database. That's a good uh, Can I ask? You can find out what GIS is because it involves it. I mean, she, she does that. Stuff that has it. something to do with, I, I don't know what it stands it's for, but it's a, it's a mapping system, yes. Yeah. 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 Rack full information system. Okay. Okay, so uh, we'll so take. Create our maps. We'll take the. Um, the website project proposal um, to the board at the next board meeting, and then <clears throat> I'll follow up with the code administrator's office for the tax, um, the purchase contract, and we'll call another meeting to talk about that before the next meeting. Um, unless you guys want to go about that differently, um, if. I'd I don't know if out. we can. If I'd if find it, out from Derek and find out what the full details are, and maybe have Derek come in if you want to have a meeting. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll plan on doing that. Um, How many of these properties that we purchased like this? There's any been, idea. It, it it's pretty common. For, there's, yeah. There's a there, lot of there's down a lot there of Spanky, properties. Down there in Spanky, properties. there's been quite a, a few. Yeah. Okay. I was surprised to see it actually come to this well, committee. There's not much left in Spanky there, so. <laughs> I mean, I think like the county owns them. If you went up to them and said, "Hey, I want to purchase these properties," I don't. I think they would sell them Mark's to get them back. Try to purchase no, them. no, no, no. <laughs> well, no. He's retired now. He's wanting a weekend <laughs> retreat. Yeah. I think I could find a better weekend retreat than that. But yeah. I think that's the deal. I think it's especially if it's in the flood flood plain. It's limited to what you can actually use it for. So I, I don't, you know, I don't think you can. Well, that's why I asked about there. the levy district because I know the levy yeah. district owns some property there. So. And so they, you know, it may be, you know, best use in, in just a natural state, you know, where that's part of the part of flood control. So. Um, one other thing, just about this, um, the roles and responsibilities for the IT person. Pam and I did talk last week on the phone and. I think the initial goal, I know this is something that Don would like, just not something for us to decide tonight, but it would be nice if we could have just one website for the county. Right? Yeah. I think that's a goal. So Connecting something yeah. we can, um, yeah, or just being able to connect them. So on one, you could get to another. Yeah. Um, but then she was saying that that would more than likely require a full-time IT person, which makes sense yeah. to support the volume of that. Yeah. Um, so I think that was part of the intention of kind of laying this out so that's mm -hmm. something um, <clears throat> which, as I was hoping Don would be here tonight that we could kind of talk about but we can table that for a different right. time so all right uh, so in the future we might be actually looking at that yes yeah. yep I would I would just make a couple comments and one is is that when you are doing the internet side of things and doing a website one of the most important things that you're going to look at is is the if you make changes. So in November you're going to have an election. So it's not a big deal, except that if you have to change particular things or you have to update the website because of, of some sort of 
legislation change or whatever it is, someone's going to have to take that responsibility. And if they're going to charge you, what are they going to charge you for that? The other thing is, is that I will tell you about uh, who you're considering, is, is that many times if you get a website address through them and they're acting as your, on your behalf, they will actually register the domain name so that they own it. So you might want to check your registry information to make sure that you own all of the domain names that you're currently using because you don't want to have to buy them back because contractually you uh, signed them away. So I'm not, I mean, I don't know that that's happened or not, but I'm just throwing that out there. You've got the cost of maintaining it above and beyond. It's the changes that will get you. Okay. Thank that's you. All. Thank you. Okay, is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Okay. Motion made by Ben, seconded by Wayne. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. It is a little tricky to turn it off. <laughs>